What's good, everybody? I'm Eric Trent, and I'm back with part two of the top 25 Midwest rappers of all time. If you already caught part one, I appreciate you. And if not, go ahead and do that after you watch this video. Let's get into it. At 15, I've got John Connor coming out of Flint, Michigan. John Connor made the 2014 XXL freshman list, killed his cypher, killed his freestyle, and ended up getting signed to Aftermath. Two of John Connor's best songs are While You Were Sleeping and Connor 2517. Check out his While You Were Sleeping mixtape if you've never heard of him. At 14, I've got Lil Bibby coming out of Chicago. Lil Bibby was one of the biggest drill artists uh, around the time when drill was just popping off, and two of his best songs are Water and Can I Get. My favorite mixtape from him would be Free Crack. 13, I've got Elzai coming out of Detroit. Elzai is a member of Slum Village and also puts out great solo work. Two of his best songs are Alienated and Savior. His best solo project would be Lead Poison, the album. At 12, I've got Brother Ali coming out of Madison, Wisconsin. Brother Ali has been a longtime signee to the Rhyme Sayers label, and two of his best songs are Forrest Whitaker and You Say. Check out his near classic, Us, album. At 11, I've got Lil Herb, aka G Herbo, and to me, he's the best drill rapper of all time. I know you guys might have different opinions, and if you do, please share that in the comments below. But two of my favorite songs from G Herbo are Pain and Four Minutes of Hell Part 4. His best project is the Bond Like I'm Kobe mixtape. At 10, I've got Twista coming out of Chicago. If you've never heard of Twista before, he's known as one of the fastest rappers of all time and actually held a Guinness Book, Book of World Records record at some point in the 2000s. Two of my favorite songs by Twista are Adrenaline Rush and Hope. His best album is Kamikaze. At number nine, I've got Tech 9 coming out of Kansas City. Tech 9 is known as one of the most successful independent artists of all time, and he also runs one of the most successful independent labels of all time, Strange Music. Two of my favorite songs by Tech 9 are Leave Me Alone and Fragile. <clears throat> His best album would be the KOD album. Number eight, I've got Obi Trice coming out of Detroit, Michigan. Longtime collaborator and friend of Eminem and D12, Obi Trice is a legend. He's got the song Snitch featuring Akon, listen to that all the time. The song Eight Miles, which is actually an exclusive off of his first album. Uh, favorite album from him would be the Second Rounds on Me album. Number seven, I've got Common coming out of Chicago. Common, super OG, been rapping for almost 30 years now. Um, two of my favorite songs by him would be The Light and I Used to Love Her. Hard to choose a favorite album from Common, but my favorite album would be The B Album. At six, I've got Lupe Fiasco coming out of Chicago. Arguably the best Chicago rapper of all time. Um, put out plenty of great albums. My favorite album from him would be The Cool Album, featuring two of the best songs in rap, arguably ever, which are Hip Hop Saved My Life and Superstar. That's everybody I got for the part two of the top 25 Midwest rappers of all time. Um, I would love to see you guys guess who's going to be number five, four, three, two, and one. If you disagree with somebody I have in this video, um, if you think I should have somebody that I haven't named yet, please comment below. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.